Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Carol's got a mess going today. I've scraped a few paintings. So I just scraped a swipe that I didn't care for. So I scraped all the paint back on top and I'm gonna do a bloom. Because I love the colors that I was using. But my transfers just weren't working out. I need to practice more. So I'm going to do a bloom in these colors and I'm going to try to make my bloom um, not so big so it stays on my canvas. Get my other mess out of the way here. So I've got some uh, pinks and greens. I have like deco up peridot green and I added a little bit of um, aspen TLP to it. I've got Athenia by TLP, this little piggy pigment. I have Josania silver. I have magenta and I have baby pink. So let's see what we can get here. I think there should be enough paint. Um, I'm debating if I should just add a tinch more on top. The paint that I put here will spread out. Okay, so I'm gonna put Deco Art BB Pink down first. And then I will put magenta. This is um, light magenta. <clears throat> Which one is this? Uh, Permanent Magenta by Windsor Newton and Pink Tourmaline by DecoArt. Kind of a purpley pink color. Some Josania Silver. It's a pretty, pretty color. Look at that. a little bit of green. Okay. I'm going to use white and black cell activator. damn white and Amsterdam oxide black
Oh, that's so pretty. I find if you put the green on the top under the cell activator, it pushes it out so it almost looks like leaves. It's very pretty. Wow. Oh, I hope it spins good. That's so pretty. Let the middle come back in the middle. One painting and two tiles <laughs> done. Scraped a few, but some days are good, some days are okay. I better go upstairs. I promised my husband I would make some chocolate chip cookies. So he's probably up there thinking, what is she doing down there? She said she was going to make my cookies. I will. I will. All right. So pretty. Let's see if it all moves together. It's all moving good. Oh, something in there. Okay, let's hope this spins good. It's centered pretty good. That is so pretty. Looks like I need some more paint on this side. See, I'll spin it again.
definitely different when you have less paint on. But if you want to save parts of your bloom, then that's what you have to do. All right, let's spin this again. Looking better now. One more this way. I can't win. I can't win. But you don't want to leave too much paint on your canvas either because then you might get cracking. So it's probably better that I did do this. But it does look beautiful. I might might be okay. Let's see, see if it's moving at all. I think it looks pretty nice. That Athena, look at that. It's very pretty in there. Oh, I'm glad I added that. So I usually like adding gold to my paintings and I didn't need to. This has gold in it. Look at that. Gold and magenta. It's gorgeous. That goes nice with my other magenta. I think it's a winner winner. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. This is long enough this video. Pretty pretty. I might like it this way. It doesn't really matter. There. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day. Welcome everybody. I'm just going to show you my dried canvas here. This is 8x8. Eight eight. I just love this one. It's very pretty. I like how the green came around the outside. Pretty, pretty. I love it. It's shiny too. Thanks for watching and have a good day.